Hello and welcome once again to another episode of Driving Passion. So, what exactly makes a truck? Is it a body-on-frame design or is it a low-range transfer case? Regardless of the reason, the Honda Ridgeline is often tossed aside with the comment, that's not a real truck, because it's supposedly not able to do truck things. Well, one of the things that most people look for when on the market for a truck is its off-road capabilities. It's one of the best perks about owning a truck, being able to take in off-road and explore nature from the comfort of a leather seat. So let's take a look at the towing, the hauling and off-roading capabilities of Honda's 2021 Ridgeline. Like this video and subscribe to our channel today to never miss a new car review and stay up to date with the latest automotive news. Thanks for subscribing. The 2021 Honda Ridgeline boasts a number of small updates and one really notable one. The large update is its 9-speed automatic transmission, which is a significant improvement from the 6-speed that was used in the 2019 variant. The new final drive ratio and transmission ratios have altered the crawl ratio to 20 to 1 in 2021 from 14 to 1 in 2019, meaning that the 2021 model is capable of quicker acceleration and steeper climbs without as much effort as its predecessor. So let's take a look at a breakdown of the Ridgeline's all-wheel drive. Well, Honda labels its AWD system as IVTM4, or Intelligent Variable Torque Management all-wheel drive, and the system is based on front-wheel drive with a unit for transferring torque to send power to the back. The back axle has a 2.7% overdrive and features a ring and pinion gear to connect to the rear axle clutch using a pack on each shaft of the axle. And this gives the Ridgeline the ability to torque vector by having the rear outside wheel move quicker than the others, which pushes the truck effectively around corners. And when engaging both rear clutch packs, the system simulates a locked rear differential. In addition to the dual clutch rear axle, the Ridgeline features four driving modes that adjust both traction and throttle sensitivity, as well as inputs for stability control. Now, in normal mode, as you may have guessed, normal mode is suited for everyday commutes and optimizes the car's fuel economy while adjusting based on steering throttle and brake inputs to better the performance of the drive. Only the front wheels receive power when cruising, but can be transferred to the back when cornering, accelerating or when slips detected. In mud mode, this will increase the sensitivity of the Ridgeline throttle while simultaneously reducing the traction control and stability system's input. And this offers more wheel spin without decreasing the engine's power or applying the anti-lock brake system to the spinning wheels, aiding in the maintenance of momentum. And then in snow mode, this will reduce the sensitivity of the throttle and up the power that's sent to the back axle, and this will help prevent traction loss when traversing slippery terrain. And finally, sand mode, and in this mode, this will increase the throttle sensitivity whilst also decreasing the traction control and stability system's input. And this mode features the least amount of input from the aforementioned systems of all the drive modes. So let's take a look at safety, which is at the forefront of this truck's design. Now, when you think of a truck, your mind probably doesn't jump to safety features straight away. The Ridgeline goes against convention, however, and aims to put safety at its forefront. It comes standard with a full Honda sensing suite, and with features like a lane keep assist system, collision mitigation brake system, forward collision warning, lane and road departure warnings, and adaptive cruise control, you can count on this car to inspire confidence with each turn. Now, if this comprehensive list of safety features isn't convincing enough, Honda states that their 2021 model aims for top-notch safety ratings from both the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety and the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. It was named a top safety pick by the IIHS for 2020 and received five stars from the NHTSA. So, the big question, how much can the Honda Ridgeline tow? Well, the Ridgeline is a smaller-than-average truck, so it can't be expected to haul a load as heavy as, say, the Ford Ranger can. However, its capacity for towing is comparable to most other SUVs on the market. In fact, the Ridgeline is capable of towing up to 5,000 pounds. While that's not as much as the Toyota Tacoma, which is able to tow an impressive 6,800 pounds, according to Toyota, the Ridgeline doesn't receive the same criticism that the Tacoma and other cars of its calibre do for their truck-like cabin experience and bumpy ride quality. 
The Ridgeline might not be the most robust towing machine in the world, but it's still more than capable of hauling a trailer containing a small boat or an ATV. And what's more, you can easily load recreational vehicles like dirt bikes or bicycles into the unique pickup bed that's featured on the Ridgeline. While it falls just short next to its competition, this truck is still wide enough to haul four feet wide plywood with ease. Additionally, there's an audio system and power outlet at the back. You're even going to see 7.3 cubic feet of added storage on the floor of the trunk bed. Now this useful hatch comes with a drain plug in case it becomes flooded with water or ice. And there's also a dual action tailgate that opens up like a regular gate or swings to the side, depending on your needs and preference. So finally, is it a good pickup truck? The short answer, yes. The Honda Ridgeline is proof that unless you desperately need certain capabilities outside of the Ridgeline wheelhouse, your truck doesn't need a truck skeleton to be a good truck. The unibody that serves other Honda cars like the Odyssey and the Pilot serves the Ridgeline just as well. Now some die-hard pickup truck fans might hate the Ridgeline for its lack of a body-on-frame platform, but the car is more than capable of getting the job done and done well without the need for the standard truck skeleton. So there you have it, do check out these other videos and don't forget to make sure to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you guys next time.